people are exhausted by ads. They're everywhere, they're in your phone. You've probably just skipped an ad. The average person sees around 10,000 ads a day. Coming up with new creative ideas, sharing the two sides of their brain to work together to create this perfect middle ground that truly resonates with them on a deeper level. So creative strategy is a bit of a buzzword right now, especially I think with the rise of UGC, user generated content creation as a side hustle and also an ad form that brands are trying to incorporate more in their marketing efforts. So as a creative strategist, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about what creative strategists actually do, specifically in the digital advertising sphere. So I thought I'd make a video to go in depth about it. So if you're a brand considering whether you need a creative strategist or to even partake in creative strategy, you'll leave this video feeling well informed and ready to decide whether it's something that your brand needs now or in the future. And or if you're a UGC creator, you'll have a better understanding if creative strategy is something you want to strive for in the future or incorporate with your UGC content creation. Hello, my name is Danae. I make marketing simple. If you're interested in marketing, definitely consider subscribing and signing up for my free newsletter, The Digital Marketing Diaries, which you can find in the description. So as I said before, with the rise of UGC, there's been a rise in the need for a creative strategist. And this is all a cause of the rise of digital advertising as a whole. If you're unfamiliar with what digital advertising actually is, I have an entire video explaining digital marketing on my channel, which I definitely recommend watching before this one. So when it comes to digital marketing, it's obviously a lot different than it was 10 years ago, which created a need for different roles and different people. You have so many different online channels that you can run digital advertisements on and i would say prior to the creative strategist media buyers were really the person that decided what gets put on ad accounts what ads are run what they should say maybe a copywriter would help with copy for these ads here and there but there wasn't really a middleman to come up with these creative concepts and iterate and that's exactly what a creative strategist does creative strategy essentially mixes the strategic media buying side of things that we've understood for quite some time, but also the psychological and more emotional creative side of things together to make better ad concepts for your digital advertising. So a creative strategist is usually coming up with new creative ideas, creating iterations on these ideas, sourcing new content, sourcing UGC creators or actors and all that sort of thing to create this content and working strategy, sometimes strategizing with the production, but always strategizing with the media buyer and the more analytical side of things as well. So creative strategists are pairing the two sides of their brain to work together to create this perfect middle ground and that uses direct response marketing principles for paid media, but is also creative outside of the box. And they're well aware of the, you know, the lighting, the production, the style and all that sort of thing. Whereas before there wasn't really a person that was doing this, but the media buyer is always more so more strategic and analytical and focused on the numbers and you know this works this doesn't work boom 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 that kind of thing so if i were to sum it all up i would say before there was a role for the person that knew where to place ads the media buyer and the role for the person that knew what to say potentially a copywriter or maybe a director or a creative director of some sort the creative strategist you know understands both roles and seamlessly brings them together. So this means that a creative strategist is really important to not only understand how to reach your audience, but what to say that truly resonates with them on a deeper level. Creative strategists will partake in things like market research to really understand their audience, what they like, what they dislike, where they like to shop, what they don't like to shop at, the fonts they like, the colors they like, the brands they like. They have a deep understanding. They'll do a lot of market research to gain a deep understanding of the target audience. They'll also be doing a ton of competitor research to see what kind of ads they're running, what seems to be working with them, what they have to offer, who they're competing against and how they can differentiate themselves. And then they'll be doing, then they'll create the concepts and then be doing ad analysis. So looking at the cost per click, looking at the hook rate, looking at how long people are watching the ad, looking at where people are dropping off, looking at the general watch time and obviously the return on ad spend, all of the important metrics to then say, okay, based on this, I can take this other information that I know on the more emotional side of things and iterate using a combination of this to create 
better ads and concepts that will continue to make the brand more money. And creative strategists also, as I say, they work on actually creating the concept. So this could, for example, for me, because I also have a copywriting background, this includes a lot of copywriting, script writing. So not only coming up with the angle and the concept, but really curating it word by word, sentence by sentence, and then sending this information off to usually the UGC creator who's going to develop the ad, giving them, you know, more detailed information. Like here, you should film it in this way. You should angle things this way. You should, you know, record from this side and this side and kind of dealing with the whole creative production side of things. And if it were a static ad, not a video ad, working with the design team to really create something that stands out again from all of that market research and competitor research that we've done prior to coming up with the angle in and of itself. The creative strategist has been developed and is important today because we are bombarded with a ton of ads. I believe the average person sees around 10,000 ads a day. So there's a lot of competition. There's a lot to compete with, not even just in your niche, but in general, people are exhausted by ads. They're everywhere. They're in your phone. You've probably just skipped an ad. So you don't just want to be another ad in the crowd. You really want to stand out and that requires some extra eyes and some extra knowledge it doesn't just matter where you place the ad and the whole media buying side of things rather the creativity behind it is equally important a creative strategy helps you voice what your audience actually wants to hear in a way that's still high converting and meant to give you the highest profit creative strategy makes your brand memorable and it also builds a strong bond with your audience once you kind of get into the flow of things and have a theme or way of understanding your audience and are able to get deeper and deeper emotionally with them through the angles and concepts that you're making plus Creative strategy, I think most importantly, makes your work consistent. So consistent in execution, but consistent in ideas and angles and iterations, because that's really one of the most important parts of running digital advertisements, iterations, it's reps. How many can you pump up to get the most amount of data? Stephen Bartlett mentions how, you know, in his podcast, he has a thing underneath his desk where he taps it when there is a moment he thinks is really going to resonate and he has software slash people working for him that then will clip it and test it through ads and and test like literally hundreds of concepts through ads before they get the right clip that they're going to use to promote it or thumbnail or whatever the case may be. This is essentially the same thing you're doing as a creative strategist, testing a bunch of iterations to see which one worked best and then consistently tweaking. I've personally seen throughout my career small word changes or hooks, visual hooks or a period, no period, an emoji, no emoji changed, a greatly changed the performance of an ad. So it's all, the results are all in the iterations and creative strategists, multiple creative strategists even allow you to keep up with that consistency, not only in your branding, but also in the execution of the concepts. So creative strategy ultimately ensures that your digital advertisements are reaching the right people by pairing the strategic and critical skills of a media buyer with the more hands-on creative skills of a creative strategist and ultimately helps you push out more concepts and more iterations. And this in turn has a profound effect on your digital marketing efforts because you're pumping out as much concepts as possible, getting your name out there, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. Everyone's working as a team and things start to flow and make sense. So that's it. I hope it was helpful. Again, if you're interested in marketing, definitely consider subscribing and signing up for my free newsletter, The Digital Marketing Diaries, which you can find in the description.